Hello students, this video will discuss employment FICA um, taxes. This includes both uh, regular employment and self-employment individuals. All employees and self-employed must pay employment taxes known as FICA. FICA stands for Federal Insurance Contribution Act that includes one, the Social Security tax, two, the Medicare tax. FICA represents intergenerational transfer where the working supports the retired. The Social Security tax rate is 12.4%. Half of it will be paid by employees and half of it will be paid by employer. Or if you are a self-employed individual, then you have to pay both. Up to 111 uh, I'm sorry, $117,000 income in 2004. This amount usually will adjust according to inflation, so please check your number. The Medicare tax is 2.9%. Again, half and half employee, employer, unless you are a self-employed individual. Up to $200,000, or for those um, who are filing separately or a single filing, then there will be a uh, $125,000 limitation or a $250,000 filing jointly limitation income in 2004. An additional 3.8% rate is added if the tax base is greater than $200,000 or 125 filing separately and 250,000 filing jointly. Therefore, most employee taxpayers pay 6.2% up to $117,000 for Social Security tax and 1.5% for Medicare tax depending on the taxable income. Also, most taxpayers pay a total of 7.65 on income for FICA. This one see example 7 13 to 15 on pages 7 16 to 18. Also, see self employment taxes calculations steps on pages 7-18 and 19 and also this can be found in example 7-16 uh, to apply the four steps of uh, self-employment tax calculation on page 7-19. For more complex situations where a taxpayer receives both employee uh, country, uh, compensations and self-employment earnings, this one you may want to see the a step process on page 7 20 and example um, 7 17 on, the, um, on page 7 21. Assume that Courtney received $100,000 of taxable compensation from EWD in 2013 and she received $180,000 in self employment income from her weekend consulting activities. What amount of self-employment taxes is Courtney required to pay on her 180000 of business income? So let's look at the solution here. Social Security uh, wages base limit is, uh, is 13700 uh, 13, So it's 133, uh, that amount minus 1000 right? Limit, limit uh, is to zero. And then net earnings from self-employment will be 92.35% after you pay all these um, uh, FICA-related expense. And then uh, also Social Security portion of the self-employment tax, like less of either step one or two. And then with time, 12.4% because self-employment, you pay the entire amount of FICA, not just half of it. Employer portion of the Medicare um, tax will be 20, uh, 2410 so if you look at the net earnings from self employment times at 1.5% and then if we follow all these steps then we can uh, come to the conclusion that uh, Courtney will owe $7,115 for her portion of the self employment in earnings and uh, also we also need to discuss the potential um, Replication like, am I an employee or am I a self-employed as independent contractor to an employer? The IS stipulates that an employer or employee relationship exists when the party for whom services are performed has the right to uh, direct or control the individual performing services 
based on 20 factors. You do not need to memorize these 20 factors. Some of these common factors are 1. Set on working hours and schedule, then you will be considered self-employment. These are the, the, the self-employment uh, items. Work part-time. Number 3. Work for more than one firm. Number 4. Realize either a profit or a loss from the activities. Number 5. Perform work somewhere other than an employer's premises. Number 6. Working without frequent uh, oversight. So pretty much that we would uh, distinguish if you follow, if you fall under some of these factors, most likely you are an independent contractor and consider a self-employed individual. And so determining whether taxpayer is employee or independent contractor is because there's the tax differences. Amount of FICA and self-employment tax payable will be different for those who are classified as employee and for those who are classified as uh, self-employed. And also uh, whether they can deduct some kind of expenses. For self-employed, that will be probably better because they have some kind of business expense they, can, uh, they get to deduct. So it depends on which uh, classification uh, you fall under, then you will need to understand the tax differences. For this um, learning objective, we are looking at the employment tax for regular employees and those independent contractors uh, working as uh, self-employed individuals. For those of you who have questions, there are examples throughout this uh, learning objectives that can help you uh, with your understanding. And also, you're more than welcome to uh, ask me questions, either post them in virtual office or uh, under the discussion for the, the chapters assigned uh, week. Thank you.